In this video we'll look at how to create and customize a slide-in menu with the DV Theme Builder. The slide-in menu or off-canvas menu is a menu that appears when a user performs an action like clicking on a hamburger icon, a button, or a swipe. First, create some pages to show on the menu. You can do this by either creating custom links, or by going to Pages in your WordPress admin bar, and clicking on Add New. Create the following pages. Home. Services. About Us. Contact Us. Next, open the menu by clicking on Appearance in your WordPress admin and then on Menu, create a new menu, save, and then add the pages we created before. Next, click on Custom Links and add three links. Name them Service 1, Service 2, and Service 3. Add them to your Service menu item as submenus and click on Save to save your menu. Next, click on Pages, All Pages. Hover over Home and click on Edit with Divi. Click on Build from Scratch and click on the Section Settings and add a background. Next, open the Design tab and change the height to 100 VH. This will make sure the background is always 100% of the display height. Save to exit, then click on Exit Visual Builder. Click on Appearance in your WordPress admin and then on Customizer to open the theme customizer. You can now go to Header Navigation and then Header Format. Click inside Header Slide and select Slide In. Go back to Header and Navigation and click on Slide In and Full Screen Header Settings. This is where the magic happens. Enable Show Top Bar. Change the menu width to what you want. Change the menu text size, top bar text size, letter spacing, font type, and style. Change your background color, menu link color, active link color, top bar text color, search bar text color, and the search bar background color. For example, we added a cupcake background and chose light purple, hash 533E7A, as the menu background color. We also changed the search bar background to white and the search bar text to light purple. That's it. You're done. There's only one little annoying thing when you use this method, and it's that the menu pushes the content of your site and logo to the left side. The best way to have everything still visible is by using the DV Theme Builder to make your slide in menu. DV has one of the best tools for developers and designers and that's the DV Theme Builder. It allows you to create so many things you usually need a plugin to create and these design elements are available throughout the website once you create them. Let's first go to Divi in the WordPress admin area and then click on Theme Builder. Once you're in the Theme Builder, click on Build Global Header to create a global header. Open the section settings and change your background color to transparent. Open your design tab and change your top and bottom settings to zero pixels. Open the Advanced tab and change your position to Fixed and Location to Top Center. Click on Save to Exit Section Settings. Next, add a three-column row with the first and last columns small. Open the Design Settings, change the width to 98% and the max width to 100%. Make sure the top padding is 1% and the bottom padding is 0 pixels.
Open the Advanced tab and add the following CSS code to the main element of your custom CSS. Display Flex. Align Items Center. Add an image module in the first column of the row. Add your logo to the image area and save. Next, click on the last column and add a text module. Add the following three spans to create the hamburger menu icon. The spans represent the three lines of the icon. You can copy and paste spans from the blog post. Links in the description below. Click on background to change the background color. Let's change the color to purple. Hash 533E7A. Open the design tab and change the line height to 0 EMS. The width to 59 pixels and alignment to right. Scroll down to spacing and change top padding to 20 pixels, bottom padding to 40 pixels, left and right padding to 10 pixels. Create a one column row below and change the background color to purple. Hash 533E7A. You can add a background image, like the image provided in the blog post, the links in the description below. Make background image size fit. Image position center. Image repeat to repeat, and image blend to multiply. Open sizing and design tab. Change use custom gutter width to yes and gutter width to 1. Click on the mobile icon next to the width and change desktop to 20%, tablet to 40%, and mobile to 60%, and height to 100VH. Scroll down to spacing and change the top padding to 10VH on desktop. 30VH on tablet, and 40VH on mobile. Scroll down to the border and change the left border to 6 pixels, color to white, and style to dashed. Open a text module in the column and change the text to home. Open link and add the home page by clicking on the dynamic link and then clicking on the home page link. Click on background and add a semi-transparent purple color, RGBA, 203, 174, 232, 0.37. Open the design tab and change the font to Poppins. Font weight to bold. Color to white. Text size to 1 VW on desktop, 2 VW on tablet, and 3 VW on mobile, and the text alignment to center. Scroll down to spacing and change the bottom margin to 1 VW on desktop, 2 VW on tablet, and 3 VW on mobile. Change your top and bottom padding to 1 VW. Duplicate the home text module as many times as you want, as long as it's visible in the viewport. Change the text and links in the duplicated modules to their respective pages. Add a button below the last text module, name it anything you want, and add a link or a hash to it. Open the Design tab and change the alignment to Center. Open the button settings and change the desktop text size to 0.7 VW. Tablet to 1.5 VW. And Mobile to 2.7 VW. Button text color to white. Button background transparent, RGBA, 0000. Border width to 2 pixels, button border radius to 0 pixel, letter spacing to 4 pixels, font to Poppins weight to bold and style to uppercase.
Open the spacing settings and change the top margin to 5VW. Left and right padding to 1.8VW on desktop. Top and bottom padding 1VW and left and right to 3VW on tablet. And top and bottom padding 4VW and left and right padding 4VW on mobile. That's it for the DV theme builder design itself. All that's left now is to add some CSS and slide functionality to finish the menu. Open the text module in the last column of the first row. Click on the advanced tab. Open the CSS ID and classes and change the ID to gravity menu, dash slide in, dash open. Next, go to the second row and open the settings. Click on the advanced tab. Open the CSS ID and classes and change the CSS class to gravity menu, dash slide in, dash menu, dash container. Change the position to absolute and change the location to top right horizontal offset to minus 20 for desktop. Minus 40 for tablet. And minus 60 for mobile. Next open custom CSS and add opacity. 0 to the main element. We're coming to the end of the menu design. All that's left now is to add the CSS and jQuery. Add a code module to the middle column of the first row and add the following CSS between style tags. You can find the code in the blog post, links in the description below. And the following jQuery between script tags. Again, the links in the description below. Save to exit and save the theme builder settings. Go to the front end of your website to view the changes. Both of the methods used above are great. It all depends on how you want your menu to look. Like and subscribe if the video helped you out, and see you next time.